And a new twist on an old scam is posing a serious threat to your private information. This time the scammers are pretending to be with Amazon Prime, offering a refund and even assistance getting it on your computer. More details in my 7 News original report. I think they're crooks. <laughs> If only it were easier to block unwanted calls. It's, it's not, it's a 704, it's somebody soliciting something. <laughs> then people like Betty Evans might never become scam victims. As it is, she was just the type of target the callers were after. They were telling me how to go in my computer, because I'm not real good with computers anyway. Evans says they claim to be with Amazon Prime, offering not just a refund, but assistance logging in to get it. When they went into my com com computer, you could see Amazon Prime on the paperwork. The easiest thing to crack of all is our people. Kevin Hodges, an IT expert with USC Upstate, says in this imposter scam, the hackers fool victims into handing over the keys to their private information. Once you give them that single session access and they're in, well, then they can install an application. They can install malware, spyware, backdoor. They could install, uh, they could do anything. And once they put that on it, then that could very well easily give you access to that, give them access to that computer remotely at any time they wanted. As the ploy progressed, it became clear exactly what they were after. They made it sound like they had put $39.99 in my account. The scammers had tricked Evans into thinking she had mistyped the decimal point for her refund, and that's when the fear tactics began. He said, I'm going to get fired if you don't give us the money back. It's not your money, and you need to give it back. I said, I don't want your money. I will give it back. With the scammers still remotely accessing her computer, they had Evans log into a site that looked like her bank's. Now they had her username and password. But in order to avoid tracing a transfer back to their IP address, they had to have Evans complete it. And they kept telling me it's not my money and they wanted it back. That's when I thought, well, maybe I ought to quit talking to these guys. It doesn't stop there. Evans admits she made one more mistake that could have cost her. She asked them for Amazon Prime's number so she could verify. And of course. And he said, ma'am, you got our money and you need to give it back. And I said, I'm not talking to you either. <laughs> Hung up on you. Evans, who has closed that bank account, narrowly escaped losing thousands. It is with that gratitude that she is speaking up so you don't fall victim. So a lot of things to take away from this story. One of them, always be sure to get the number of a business independently. Experts say even a Google search can turn up misleading numbers. It's best to go to a company's website directly.